server with the UV con. So inside my command prompt, I can simply type code then period to open it inside VS Code. So I'm going to open the directory on VS Code. So now inside the directory, we need to create a rouse folder. So we create a rouse folder, we rouse. So now we have our rouse folder created. Inside the rouse folder, we'll create another file. So rouse.py inside the rouse folder. So we have a folder called rouse and inside the folder, we have the rouse.py file. So there's one more file we need to create and that's the main.py. So that will be our entry point. So main.py file. So we have the main.py file. So inside the main.py file, we can then import fast api so we can use from fast api then import fast api so from fast api import fast api so this starts with capitals and the api is in capitals i can then initiate the fast api so i'll create a variable called app then i'll set it equals to the first API on top, the one with capitals, then I can initiate it. So once I initiate it, that's all I need for now. So I can head over to my routes.py file. Inside the routes.py, I need to import the API router. So to import the API router, I'll use the from first API import API router. So that's what I need the API router. So I'll then initiate the API router again. So I'll create a variable, maybe endpoints. So I choose to call it endpoints. Then I'll set it equals to API router. Then I'll just initiate it. So once I initiate it, that's all I need for now. Then I can then head over to my main.py. Then I can import this endpoints. So to import it, I'll use from then the name of our folder and it's rouse so from rouse then i'll put period and the name of our file the name of our file is rouse so from rouse folder the rouse pi the, the rouse file rather import then endpoints use the app dot then i'll use the include router so inside the include router I'll just wrap up all the endpoints. So all the endpoints will be imported over here with the include router. So I'll include all the routes inside here. You can then save my file with control S. So I use control S. So you have to save your file first. So now I have my file saved. So I can head over to my command prompt. Then I can then run the server, but make sure it's activated. If it's not activated, Make sure to activate it before you can run your server. So this is the code to activate it. So once it's activated, you can use the CLS to clear everything. Then we can run our server with the UVCon. Then I'll give space and I'll type main. Then I'll put a semicolon. Then I'll tap app. And the app is from here. So that's the name of our variable app. And this main, that's the name of our file main main is our file and this app contains the variable which has initialized the first api then i'll put the the reload flag over here then i'll press enter to run my server so now i have my uvicon server running so i can copy this http to this port 8000 so copy it copy from http to port 8000 then once you copy it then you can go and paste it in your browser but you can also use the control plus c so if i press control and then i bring my case i can click here to open it but if you don't have that feature just copy it and go and paste it in your browser and then press enter so i'll press enter to simple open it so once you have this running that means your server is running so we'll go to this docs so this is a built-in a built-in route is called the docs we don't have any requests over here so we we'll have to go and create our first request so to create our first request i'll head over to my routes.py 
then I'll come over here then I'll use the add symbol then I'll write endpoints dot then the request is a get request then I'll put a for slash over here so that's our that's our entry point so this this for slash shows our entry point so I'll come over here so don't put anything don't put a semicolon here just come over here and create a function and then I can call the function maybe home then I can then return maybe a Python dictionary so I'll return a dictionary and inside the dictionary I'll have my first value which is status then I'll set it equals to OK then I have my second value which is maybe message then I can write something like my first API is running so if I save this and then we come over here then we refresh we have this over here this home so if I click on home then I click on try out then I click on execute then we have the response over here this okay my first API is running so you can also delete everything over here and leave it to the end that's to the port 8000 then you can press enter and you still have status okay in the message my fast api is run so that's how to handle a simple get request with fast api